Hello friends, welcome back to new video. In this video, I'll be reading one of the comment which will be useful for many of you and I'll explain my answer and I'll share the insights and suggestions what to do. So in this week, I have one question in recent comments and I'll be reading about that question and also the ways to answer and the possible answers from my observations so before that those who are watching for the first time for studying abroad or for studying in japan please do feel free to comment in the below the videos i'll check the comments i'll reply you if it is normal question if there is something other people can learn i'll be answering in the videos so that they will also get to know and you can also get to know more information so let's dive into the question now so the question is i have received recently uh, 10 days ago i have answered partially but it was tricky to answer again because the details already shared so let's see again what i can add now uh, newly so that you can make benefit out of it the discussion so the question is sir for email to professors uh, in university recommendation we need to mention research plan or topic so should i keep my topic single line or should i elaborate it what is your research topic so it's a bit long question but it's very common so many times people ask me i can simply answer in one line saying that i have to work and you simply uh, uh, do trial 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 and then get what is working for you yeah that is there that is uh, normally we can answer when we uh, need to uh, suddenly say the answer when we are have short of time so let me discuss what you can answer the uh, let's say you are asking me this question around uh, this is january right in 2024 or maybe 2023 is our 2025 so during january if you ask me this question uh, you i basically recommend most of you to connect with the professors around uh, august august september october number and december january is uh, applications and december number october also there are applications but yeah uh, the july august time is a good to uh, contact professors before that you have the embassy recommended route uh, embassy recommended application will be around april may uh, around may so the application will be around may for that you don't need to contact professors but still you need a research plan right so for research plan through embassy also you need the same question how to write the research plan how to develop the research plan ideas so i have shared detailed analysis in the research plan uh, document how to write i i have the playlist please check the playlist i'll be putting in the comments and the description now also in the pin so that research doc uh, research document development how to write and what to write all details will be there for now let me dive into the the inside spot or the the comment spot the exact comment spot so let's say you are uh, you are approaching to the embassy round and you need research plan right so embassy plan uh, the selection is more critical than the university recommendation because if you take the numbers let's say embassy you are applying uh, uh, maybe thousands two thousand or maybe three thousand applications from india or maybe other countries and they will have at max they will have some 30 to 40 max 50 all the categories uh, 40 to 50 seats only i've seen i can i you cannot go for 100 seats 200 seats it's very rare incident so check the history it's very rare to have the applications shortlisted more than 50 80 100 it's very rare so i would recommend it's uh, just think about it the ratio of the applications to acceptance ratio and the number of ratios are there no the ratio is very short and it's very competitive so you have to find the critical pro project or the critical research problem so that the embassy track filtration will uh, accept your application and also i told you recently in the last year so application in the first few days is a very much essential and it's uh, uh, i found from one of our youtube followers he shared me and also tested with one of my junior last year it got worked out and they got acceptance because they applied the same application what they applied last year they got acceptance this year for the interview round so it, it happens so that is another issue you should remember parallelly the embassy round the competition is high so you have to remember and you have to get the new and uh, very critical and specific problems which is very much uh, in in the industry or the in the uh, global attraction now at this this point of time on this year so that is the critical uh, line you should remember for making the research plan for embassy round and coming to university so uh, may june you will apply for embassy so after that they will only ask you to contact university professors after that you can apply for university re recommended professor contact that is a normal line but if you are smart enough if you can handle the conversations well with the professors and you can convey in a polite way you can contact to professors any any point of the time in the year because uh, it requires the sometimes you don't get response and the professors it's, it's common they are busy so you cannot expect the response but yeah 
you can contact any time if you have a good document or a good reason to contact all these things people did uh, i i seen many comments or many feedbacks in uh, in our channel itself so there are various ways i'll try to sh uh, share whenever it time comes for now embassy round i'll suggest you to put it very strict and perfect the cutting edge problems in this year and this particular point of time connecting with uh, india and japan or maybe your country and japan let's say it's africa means africa and japan let's say it's europe means european country and japan like that so it's very contextual and how what is happening in the global research trends in that particular field and even it should be more applicable to the application uh, like a product oriented application right that's the first and best advice i would say and the second one what happens sometimes one of you or maybe some of you i seen or even the stories you can ask to your friends so when you talk to professors, uh, when you really show and express your genuine interest in meetings or in conferences or maybe through mail, it happens that they will find interesting like uh, your skills may fit in their lab progress, right? This year or next year, it may fit in their progress. So they may consider as a positive point and they may want, you, want to help you to develop the research plan so they may ask you certain replies and then they will start guiding you okay think about this way uh, think about this way they may give some points it's not so many but yeah there are some cases they got like this feedback and then they develop the research plan with the professor consent before even the deadline uh, the application started for the university recommended uh, route so it's uh, lucky people but yeah there are incidents like that also you should remember like university recommendation and also it will happen the same thing like you need to put the cutting edge problem and it should be applicable it should be applicable for the industry oriented the current research like immediate application so it's similar for university recommendation also try your best to make it as best as possible the applicability of the problem or the research that is one side right and recently everywhere it's connecting with the digitization and ai and um, the coding part all the disciplines whatever your discipline it's a uh, kind of relevance people are expecting to be connected with uh, this uh, the cutting edge uh, areas right so try to see all these things and then yeah the question is whether should we mention these things in the mail or not it's a question so this is all what i said is the background preparation is required for a better mail but now let's see whether we can include the research plan in the mail or not or should I elaborate or just put a single line? So I don't have single answer for this, but I would say like uh, use single line or short uh, data in the beginning and then uh, try to answer your uh, research plan a bit more detail in attachment and then send it if you don't respo get response for three weeks to four weeks and then send again the second mail. If not, ignore it. They won't reply again. So it's two mails, first mail and second mail. Mostly that's it. I won't recommend more. Uh, it may uh, at least for one year you don't send the mail for the same professor and second one so if you s send a single line or a small short one or if you elaborate it what happens so the single line sometimes it may be okay but elaborative one too much is not good so what actually you seen in the website the research plan document it is around uh, two pages to uh, the four four sides two pages four sides so that is the research plan length so try to make that length despite of your application or your embassy or university because that document will be helpful for you to work on the future application or the when you actually submit and all these things so it is good to develop the same format right so i would recommend put the short description and write your introduction mail and then uh, send to the professor and then wait for the reply and then if not send again after one month around one month is good good uh, to my observation if you still don't respond move on to another university another professor another laboratory that is one side another thing is that there are particular uh, particular uh, programs that you need to work on it and then check one more thing uh, it's a bitter truth you should think about this one actually let's say you are asking me like let repeat it out and uh, i feel like uh, not to answer i was busy something like that so for me itself i feel a little bit uh, tedious i think like uh, this guy is not doing homework it's a basic question he won't spend time to spend to understand this question itself and he want to come to abroad uh, so i think he may be not uh, 
competitive enough and it may be not good for him to come abroad it will be challenging if you are like that so it can happen with professor also i may think sometimes like that uh, and recommending and making them coming here it may be not so good uh, they may even have a lot of things to do and he if he don't do the basic things so they will expect this thing so professors they are even experienced and they may even more busy so try to think and understand when you need to prepare something and when you need to study something when you want to apply something so the background preparation or the efforts nobody tell you what they are seeing on your application but yeah they they think about these things sometimes so when they when they are in not good mood when they see the mail or when they are in good mood when they see the mail they expect more so all these things will happen so whether did i answer the question yes so send the single mail and the single line and then elaborate it after t- based on the time of your response and then what is my research topic right my research topic i proposed with my uh, project which i connected with my masters and then extended to phd work uh, that is a, a sc- uh, scholarship application and then i'd gone into the discussions so that's how i de- developed so those <sighs> i i hope it it answered your uh, question and also it gave you some more insights how to handle it yes people don't uh, disclose many things openly but yeah these are things are happening around these are my observations and wish you all the best stay tuned and do subscribe and